got a Christmas present from um, Tesla and Elon Musk uh, this evening. Software version 40.50, which has some pretty cool um, tricks and uh, par yeah, party tricks and um, just some, some cool new stuff, which I want to go through right now. Okay, so the biggest thing um, that we have is now a uh, new visual visualization. So if you have Hardware 3, um, and you can tell if you have Hardware 3 if your visualization display over here uh, shows you um, construction cones. If you go to Autopilot and you have Hardware 3, you're going to see this full self-driving visualization preview. So we have a preview now of what the full self-driving suite is going to look like. I guess. I'm sure there's going to be some more stuff um, on it, but anyway. So it's pretty cool. Let me show you some stuff. So um, first of all, it can see uh, road markings like like lane arrows and turn lanes and stuff like that. Also, um, I saw that it was picking up bicycle lane uh, signs. Uh, it can also, it's very good at detecting trash cans now, which is strange, I guess. Uh, not strange, I mean, it makes sense, but it's like of all the things to pick, like trash cans stop signs and traffic lights, and it's pretty good. Um, I had a couple stop signs that it did not pick up. 0 for 1 on stop signs. So I don't know what the deal is with that, but it pretty much picked up all of the stop lights. Um, and it got all the ones with red lights correct. I noticed some of them either didn't show what the direct, what the light, what the, what the light was. It didn't show a light or it kind of got the wrong ones, like a few red lights kind of flickered yellow like in the turn lanes or something like that, so I don't know. I, they're probably still fine-tuning that. And the vehicle doesn't like stop for those lights. Um, it just keeps going. So anyway, that is probably the coolest thing. Um, I think the next coolest thing is... I think I need to change the display here to daytime. Uh, let's go to daytime. Uh, voice cans have now been re built to understand natural language. For this initial release, we focused on commands that minimize having to touch the screen so you can keep your eyes on the road. Uh, you can say, set the temperature to 70 degrees, turn on the passenger seat heater. Let's try that one. I'm going to do it for the... Turn on the driver's seat seat heater. Nope, didn't work. Maybe I'll try a quick reboot. Just rebooted. Let's see if that makes any difference. Turn on the driver's seat heater. That one worked. Open the glove box. Yeah. Now we're doing it. Open autopilot settings. You can see it in the background. Cool. The next cool thing is the phone improvements. You can now read and respond to text messages using your right scroll wheel. Um, so to set that this up, you have to go to uh, Bluetooth settings, and right here you can right below sync contacts is sync messages. So you can do that for uh, whatever phones you have connected. Um, it's a little tricky with the um, the Android device, at least the Pixel 3, because I couldn't find an actual setting on the phone to give permission uh, or give access and permission to do this. So like when you when you turn sync messages on, it will ask you um, to set that on your phone. Just ignore that and just hit reconnect. And then when you reconnect, the Tesla vehicle will send a notification to your phone and your phone will ask you, uh, do you want to give access to your Tesla Model 3 or whatever the vehicle is? And then you can hit yes and then and then it all works. So let me see if I can, I'm going to try to text myself, new software, here we go, send, there it is. So you got to tap to read. Brandon Ellsworth says new software. Uh, apparently my name is Ellsworth. Okay, moving on now to camp mode. So we're uh, increasing the number of air conditioning and heating modes that we have. So this will maintain airflow, temperature, interior lighting, as well as play music uh, and power devices. So the USB powers, I guess, stay on when camp mode and enable. And what you do is you hit the fan here, which gives you all your HVAC settings. Uh, and then, come on. 
And then you have some options to keep it on, put it in dog mode, or camp mode. Let's see if, I wonder what, oh, it doesn't do anything fancy. And it turns itself off once you reach 20%. Sentry mode, security alarm, and walk away lock will be disabled. Okay. All right, cool. Um, back we go to release notes. Hello? Phone improvements. Did that already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Camp mode. Tesla theater. You can now watch movies via Twitch. You do need a premium connectivity subscription unless you were grandfathered in by buying a Tesla before June of 2018. Or, uh, yeah, 2018. Um, Stardew Valley game, backgammon game, uh, the voice keyboard. You can now use dictation to input text. Simply tap the microphone to input text. So that's, I guess, if you're putting text in, I don't know what, like renaming your vehicle or something. Um, okay, I'm going to come back to tracks. We've also got save dash cam clips on honk. Uh, so if you honk your vehicle at, some, at somebody, it will automatically push the dash uh, or the save <coughs> dash cam video, which is pretty handy. That would be in safety security, I think. Sentry mode on, yeah, dash cam. Save clips on honk. Honk, honk. Driver profiles, nav settings. Additional nav settings are now side to your driver, driver profile, such as volume levels for nav guidance as well as traffic display settings new language for you uh, Danish speakers out there you can put in a Danish so let's go back to uh, tracks this is a new um, game all right so up here is tracks and you can compose um, tracks <laughs> organ So that's that. So that is it for now. Again, that's version 40.50. So there aren't really any differences to the way autopilot drives right now. Um, we are still, we still haven't gotten any city street uh, stuff or anything like that. The most recent update, uh, which I can't remember if I did a video on or not, but it has, well, you see it in my previous video. So the um, the lane changes are a lot more snappy, which makes it, which makes using it manually, manually, like telling it to change lanes, uh, much more useful. Um, oh, but autopilot knows, now does sway a little bit, so I should test that out. Um, I have to do a new video because I, I didn't get a chance to test that out to see if this update actually improved that. Um, but otherwise, not much has changed. We're still waiting for city streets, intersections and that kind of stuff. So this is kind of the first step in releasing the recognition of um, stop signs and road markings and uh, traffic lights, but it's not obeying them. <laughs> but that's a small step from uh, recognizing to obeying them because it, it can do it. I mean, I, I'm sure it can do it, it just uh, you have to make it reliable enough um, to be usable in the, in the real world. So that's still yet to come. Must thought that we were going to get feature complete, uh, full self-driving by the end of this year. There's a rumor that some of the early access um, uh, Tesla owners do have it where it is responding 
two intersections. So I guess that's kind of under alpha testing right now or beta testing, whatever you would call that, but that's definitely not fully released. So it doesn't look like we're gonna get that by the end of the year, but Elon Musk's timelines are generally um, too, uh, too aggressive. <laughs> Turn off driver seat heater. Ah, it worked. It's getting a little warm. So looking forward to the next one, but this is still super cool. Um, I, again, it doesn't do anything, but it's just really cool to see it that way. And that's a little bit of um, that's a little bit disappointing as a owner previously. Is that um, like the car? They've been testing recognition of this stuff, but the car just hasn't it sees a lot more than it displays. And I wish there was a mode where like, I could see everything that it's detecting. Like I wanna see the box around the cars, because I still notice that like, there'll be a car behind me or a, a car beside of me and it doesn't show it on the display. So, but I'm pretty sure it sees it. Like I, I drove by a bicyclist, uh, a cyclist earlier today on the right side, who was in the bike lane, and uh, it didn't show up on the car display, so. But whenever you see, um, like there's a Twitter user, um, Green the Only, uh, he releases some videos where he kind of reverse engineers and um, shows what the car is labeling and stuff. Like the car like always picks up on that stuff and labels it correctly. But So it must just not be getting displayed or something. But anyway, I wish there was a way to see like everything that the car, the sensors are actually seeing. That's how I would want to drive. But I guess it would be distracting. Anyway, so having it do stop signs and traffic lights and road markings and trash cans and cones is really cool to see. Um, at least we're seeing the evolution of this of the neural net recognition, even if it's not functionally um, affecting the driving. Although I will say, um, now that it recognizes cones, it also will um, switch to a lane that's farther from cones, which is kind of annoying if there's cones on like both sides. Uh, but anyway, I'm sure they'll adjust that. So I hope that was interesting. Uh, stay tuned for more autopilot videos. Oh, I will be going on a trip. I'm driving from Michigan to California. So that's going to be fun. Um, it's going to be winter, so I'll be driving the Model X, the 100D. This will be the first time I've driven it west. So I've driven it to Florida from Michigan, but not out west. Last time I did the west trip I was in the um, 70D which uh, was starting to cap out charging at about 90 kilowatts. This with the recent updates will get up to 150 kilowatts and I don't have a 70 kilowatt hour battery I have a 100 uh, kilowatt hour battery so really looking forward to see the differences with that. It's going to be using a ton of energy because it's bigger and I have snow tires on but it's worth it not to die. So um, yeah, stay tuned for that. That probably won't be edited and up until um, first, I don't know, second week of January or something like that. Hopefully by then. So um, yeah, see you in the next video.